Nearly a year on from the launch of the Epic Boom, Ultimate Ears are back. And this time, they're not just dropping one new speaker. Instead, we've got four brand new models to get our teeth into, and here is everything that you need to know. Hey guys, Louis here from Smart Home Sounds, and besides the Epic Boom, it's no secret that UE have been a little bit quiet in recent years when it comes to releases, but that is until now. Before we get into it, a big shout out to Yui for sending us these speakers. But as always, the thoughts that we share in this video are 100% our own and what we found from putting it through its paces to help you decide if it's right for you. Now, if you're a fan of the brand, then you'll know that many of Yui's popular speakers have been due an upgrade for a little while now. And let's just say the brand have definitely delivered. A couple of weeks ago, Al and I had the pleasure of visiting their headquarters in London for the unveiling of their brand new speaker lineup. Along with new fourth generation versions of the fan favorite Wonder Boom, Boom and Mega Boom speakers all being announced, Yui also dropped the news of a brand new speaker. Meet Everboom, the sixth speaker in the Boom lineup and the one that sits between the Epic and Mega Boom speakers, coming in with an RRP of £250. Now we were pretty tough on the Epic Boom when we reviewed it last time. It was a pretty expensive unit after all, so this new version's unique market position and form factor have definitely piqued my interest and that's why I've decided to put it to the test to see if it lives up to its potential. But before I do, I know Yui's smaller boom speakers have always been a very popular choice among fans, with upgrades also being well overdue. So I'm going to hand over to Al so he can break down everything that you guys need to know about the new fourth generations. And make sure you let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see full reviews of any of the rest of the range. Cheers Lou, now that's right, we've been waiting a long time when it comes to upgrades to the Wonder Boom, Boom and Mega Boom, and while these aren't complete overhauls, there are some good upgrades to ensure these can compete in such a crowded market. Looks wise, they're similar to their predecessors, but all three of these 4th gen models now sport more sustainable designs with plenty more recycled materials being used throughout. As expected, we've got some new colorways on offer, and you can also say goodbye to those old micro USB charging cables, as we finally switch to USB-C for a smoother, more universal power up experience. In terms of sound performance, Boom 4 and Mega Boom 4 have both received a bass boost thanks to new upgraded deep bass radiators, which without delving too far into things should mean these two are able to unlock an even bigger and deeper sound than their predecessors. Now I don't have enough time to fully test these out for you just yet, but from initial hands-on testing at the event, both of these seem like real improvements over their previous iterations, and definitely look like they could be up there with some of the class leaders in their respective categories from the likes of JBL, Sony and Bose. The smaller Wonder Boom 4 unfortunately doesn't boast the same acoustic upgrades, but we do get some unique new functionality with a new podcast mode that can give your favourite shows a nice little boost if that's what you're into. Adding to their features, the Boom 4 and Mega Boom 4 will include a stereo pairing mode similar to what Yui already offers, but even better, all three new fourth generation speakers are backwards compatible with their respective third generation counterparts. So, for example, you can pair a Mega Boom 4 with a Mega Boom 3. It's also worth noting all UE speakers, new and old, as of launch will also bring a new feature called Megaphone that lets users project their voices through their phone speaker like this. Yes guys, so we're out and about and as you can see, Louis is over there. Now we're gonna give the Megaphone feature a test, so hopefully... You guys should be able to hear me loud and clearly. And if you can, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. You heard the man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be some fun we can all have with this one. Other than that though, as I mentioned, all three of these are still very similar to their third gen versions. They follow the same tried and true formula with the same rugged style, the same battery life, and most pleasingly, the same initial launch prices. There's just been a few neat tweaks here and there to make them a much more compelling offering in 2024. Either way though, lots more testing to do, so let us know what else you'd like to know and any comparisons you'd find useful. Thanks Al, but with that out of the way, let's get back to the Everboom. Now, looking every bit like the Epic Boom's smaller sibling, the Everboom weighs no more than a litre bottle of water. It still boasts the same vibrant charcoal and lime design as its bigger brother, but this version is considerably smaller, lightweight, and drops the magnetic carry strap on the back, instead opting for this neat little carabiner, which, for those of you that need to hear this, is definitely not safe for climbing. Although I wouldn't say that the design of this one will be right for everyone, 
I really like the look of the Epic Boom and the convenience of this smaller form factor has definitely got me even more interested. It's bigger than your Flip 6s or Sonos Roams of the world, but I think it actually sits in that Goldilocks zone when it comes to size. And I can definitely see people using this one happily as a portable speaker, both around the home and out and about. And that's why I think a form factor like this could be the new sweet spot of the portable speaker world so long as it obviously ticks some other key boxes. So from testing it out, controls are super easy to use. You've got all of your usual buttons on the top panel here, including power, Bluetooth, outdoor boost, and this magic button, which can control your playback and also be set up with one touch playlists from your favorite streaming platforms like Spotify, Amazon Music, or Android and Apple Music for iOS. Now you've also then got these classic massive UE volume buttons on the front, tying the whole thing together. In terms of features, it's got everything that you'd expect from a UE portable. It's got Bluetooth to 5.1 and it offers a range of 55 meters, which is more than enough. But for a brand new speaker, could it have been a more recent Bluetooth version? Now it's a super rugged speaker with its IP67 rating and it floats too. Now no, that doesn't mean it sounds great submerged in water, but it's good to know that you are protected for up to four hours if you ever have any unexpected mishaps poolside or at the beach. We've got a 20 hour battery life, which for me is more than enough for this sort of speaker. And there's also some really handy features that I've enjoyed using like outdoor boost mode to adjust the sound profile for wide open environments and easy NFC pairing. If you've got a compatible Android phone that is. Now admittedly, it would have been cool to get some power bank functionality because I think that's something that some of the other options in this space have over this and maybe even some Wi-Fi functionality. So it's a little bit more functional at home, but I think that might be a little bit of wishful thinking on my part. So if this one is to really warrant being worth its pretty expensive 250 pound price tag, a lot of it will be dependent on how it sounds. Now we've been testing this one out for a couple of weeks now and there's no doubt that it packs a punch for its size. It's got a nicely optimized acoustic architecture with two precision tuned active full range drivers along with two passive radiators for enhanced bass. But of course, specs can only tell us half the story. So we're gonna put it to the test. Now, as always, the usual disclaimer that what you hear over YouTube isn't gonna be 100% what I'm hearing right here in the studio, but hopefully it should give you a little bit of an indicator as to how this one sounds. Hopefully you enjoyed that one, guys. For me, you can definitely tell it's a relative of the epic boom with that powerful 360 degree sound. The bass is the standout feature, and although it doesn't offer as wide a soundstage as its bigger brother, with a max output of 86 decibels, it still offers a big enough performance to really feel open plan or outdoor spaces for parties, barbecues, and that sort of thing. Now, obviously it's worth mentioning, you've also got the option to tweak the performance with the customizable EQ in the UE Boom app. Now there's a couple of different presets to play around with so we've got signature bass boost cramped spaces deep relaxation and podcast slash vocal which are all handy and of course there's an option to create your own with the five band custom eq but to be honest i was actually pretty happy with the sound straight out of the box it's just nice to know that there's a little bit of flexibility as and when you need it now for those of you who want an even bigger sound you can also pair everboom with any other ue speaker with the party app feature now we tested that out and it delivered everything that you'd expect it was also super easy to set up and the sound was really nice and broad. So it's a great option if you want to really push the volume without needing a bigger unit. Right, what are my final thoughts then? Well, don't get me wrong. This isn't the most affordable portable option out there. You can definitely spend less and get a decent sound profile from something a little smaller. But if you're looking for something that can go nearly as loud as some of those bigger heavy duty portables, can still deliver impressive bass, clear vocals and crisp treble, all in a much more lightweight and transportable form factor, then it becomes very hard to argue with this one. And I think that's proven when you think about where this one fits in the market. For me, although you've got the Epic Boom and the new Mega Boom 4 sitting on either side of this one, both priced around about 70 pounds higher and lower respectively, 
The beauty of this one is that it combines the use case of both of them. Now, no, it's not perfect, and there are things that I wish were different. I would have liked some power bank functionality for one, maybe some more groundbreaking features and so on, but ultimately, that's not what this one is about. Like I said earlier, if we go back to the Goldilocks analogy, this one isn't too big, it's not too small, but just the right size to deliver an impressive sound performance wherever you end up using it. And in my book, that's normally a good sign when it comes to portable speakers. Now, does it mean it's right for everyone? No, but if you're like me and you think that it bridges the gap between portability and home speaker functionality, then it's definitely one to be added to the shortlist. Ultimately, it comes down to what your priorities are. And so it's time to get down in the comments below and let me know what you think. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.